What is up guys, it's Grace Productions, and yes, I am back with another video. It's two times in one month. Y'all have to love the consistency right now. But never mind the jokes, let's get to the point. What did I personally do to get higher end clients? Let's find that out. a personal backstory about myself and I feel like I've never really had a chance to really talk to you guys in 2018 I decided to make a very bold decision I decided to temporarily leave school it was a very nerve-wracking decision I had to make and as I kind of look back at it now I actually don't regret it at all but at the time it was very nerve-wracking you know obviously leaving school to chase your career path it was very very scary if I'm being very honest with you but because of me making this bold decision, I had to prove to myself that I was not wrong while making this decision. So what I decided to do is prepare for my 2019. Because I told myself in 2019, I'm gonna make sure that is my year. So if you guys don't know, I have an artist that I work with that I, I'm not even gonna say I managed that, but my whole group kind of managed basically, Lou Nightmare. So at the time, we really needed his first video to pop out. And this is what we all decided to do. We all decided to just pitch in. Obviously, I was not making money from the video shoot itself. I just needed some work to really get out there. For that music video in particular, I was really, really taking my time planning every single thing possible. Getting my shot list, making a treatment. That was actually my first time actually doing that. Me and him both put money into the production. I used the money he gave me to rent out the studio for a certain amount of time. At the time, we didn't have the funds to actually book models. So we had to outsource our friends or upcoming models that we kind of knew in a way. Honestly, in the long run, this is honestly the best decision we, that we made. We saved a lot of money. These people had something to work with in their portfolio. It all kind of helped in the long run. So for this video, I was definitely aiming for an industry look. I needed this video to stand out out of all my videos that I shot that year. I needed this video to be a banger. I always wanted to use the tube lights that I've always seen in multiple music videos at that time. I also rented out a couple broken on lenses at that time as well. In other words, I just went all into the video. So let's go back a little bit and see how my videos were looking before I eventually made this video. So as you guys could see, I'm not really working with much lighting. I'm just kind of shooting outdoors. Sometimes I just throw in a light here and there. You know, fun vibes, very, you know, freestyle-ish. No shot list, not much of anything, no much pre-planning, no much pre-production, just making it work and making it flow. Because of me noticing that, I really forced myself to go into this mode of making an actual planned project. I have to say I've been inspired by one of my homeboys, uh, KJB, who invited me to the set for IG Models, and I really just appreciate how planned his set was. It was just so fun being there and how strategically he had the lighting set up. It was just a great vibe overall. Because of me experiencing that vibe, I've always told myself, I gotta do this all the time. I don't wanna even do this sometimes. I wanna do this all the time. Having a plan set, having pre-production, having all of that. So ever since I did Blue Nightmare's video, early 2019, that month of January was just crazy. I had people throwing numbers at me, requesting, what can I do with this budget? What can I do with that budget? And I'm just like, yo, let's make it work. Let's make it happen. So since then, I've just been working with those projects learning the game, meeting new people, meeting the model agencies, meeting people who can actually help me out, meeting my mentors especially. The more and more I did these videos, it, the more easier it was for me to show clients or potential clients that I can handle whatever budget is given to me. Potential clients back then and now are not going to pick a videographer who's very inexperienced in handling budgets. That's just probably not gonna happen. So because of me just investing my own money and getting the artist to invest his money as well, I was actually able to get clients who was actually willing to spend money on me and the production. So in other words, guys, if you feel like you're in a slump, if you feel like your work is just not going anywhere, if you feel like you're making the same repetitive stuff, don't be afraid to make that investment because that one investment could actually change your life. If I would have never made Blue Nightmare's video and had it not look like that, I would have not seen myself doing what I am doing now. But that's all guys. I hope this video helped you guys a lot. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'ma see you guys later.